has been tabled. Neeti Jain, spokesperson of the BJP, joins us along with Dr. Sonal Man Singh, MP of the Raj Sabha, Bhavna Ramanna, leader of the Congress, Dr. Asha Mirge, NCP spokesperson of the Sharad Pawar faction, and Samaya Rana, spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party. But before we actually begin the debate, I want to congratulate each and every one of you because truly for women at large and for women politicians in particular, Today is a red letter day, so congratulations ladies and I'm so glad that you are the faces of women in our various steps and stages of politics. I want to first start by asking you Bhavna Ramanna. Today, Sonia ji said, Hamara bill hai. Agar aapka bill tha, so for 13 years, why did you not push it through? Fine, it should have been your bill, but it should have been your bill in 2010. Yeah, I don't know the political circumstances uh, which was pitched in that point of time. So it must have not been able because they, will, they must have faced a lot of other problems. But then she was the one who strongly voiced her opinion on presenting the bill in the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha very, very well. Dr. Sonal Man Singh, do you think this is enough for somebody to say, oh, it was our intent, we wanted to bring it about, so this bill is ours, it belongs to us. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with I think that. this ours and yours, it should be ours in the true sense. We all together. But the point is that once the bill has not been passed in both the houses, one after another, it lapses. This is a parliamentary norm. So we ca they can't say that it was in Sabha, mein ho gaya tha, log sabha mein nahi hua, so the bill is ours. So many bills have come and they've lapsed. So it has to be redone, reworded, readdressed, renavigated. And then between 2010 and 2023, 13 years have lapsed. There's a change of government. There's a change of thinking. There's a change of attitude. And, uh, and, and uh, what shall I say? The way you look at women. Because if you remember, that so many uh, wry and uh, nasty remarks were made in mm -hmm. Lok Sabha earlier also, women's bill, Arakshan bill was not the thing that they really wanted because somewhere they felt that this will take away our rightful place. Hmm. We will be ousted. Somewhere that kind of a mental attitude. Now, as you have already uh, put it out, the delimitation exercise will go on. That will bring a new map to navigate and all the statistics that you have also given, which are all in public domain now. So let the bill be argued and debated. Hmm. Let's not jump the gun. But nobody can, can, can question today the intent of Prime Minister Modi and his honest respect and intention to have women get their rightful place, which has been so long denied. And this is the high time. Whether it is the right time or wrong time, that's not the debate. I mean, whatever he does, poor guy, is always ha ha ha. Uh, timing they ko, timing they ko. That is not the way. The way, the way forward is the positive way to see how brilliant this is, how wonderful this is, hmm. and what a gift this is on the day of Ganesh Chaturthi to the women of India. Riddhi, Siddhi, Buddhi. Hmm. These are the three consorts of Sri Ganesh. Riddhi, Siddhi to aajati hai, Buddhi aane mein der lagti hai. Dr. Asha Mirge, respond. Buddhi, sadbuddhi. Hmm. Sadbuddhi. Wisdom. Riddhi, 